Hey, so this thing just happened at the gym that I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna walk and vlog about this because I'm super amped about it. Um, right now, uh, Diesel Noy is at my gym. He's been coming three days a week for the past six months. And then today, for the first time, we invited Chmuk Pet, who uh, is an incredible fighter from the Golden Age. Uh, he was Mr. Computer Knee, very well-rounded fighter, really fucking awesome. He had nine belts from Lumpany and Rajadamnern simultaneously, which is incredible. Uh, he's in Japan all the time. He teaches in Tokyo, but he comes home once a year. So we grabbed him while he's here in Thailand and brought him down um, to uh, help at my gym. So he's here today, and we had a bunch of fighters last night at Lumpany. So a lot of our Thai boys aren't training because they just fought. And so they all came to the gym. Pinu told them to come. Uh, and they're all like in their like school uniforms and stuff. And uh, Pinu tells them to get in the ring and sit in the circle and basically be taught, like schooled um, by these legends to like learn something because they're here at the gym, which I thought was really awesome that Pinu wanted this. So we're all sitting in a circle um, on the floor of the ring while Chmuk Pet and Diesel Noy kind of go through uh, strategy and like how to train and stuff like this. And they really got into like how to train because part of the thing that I'm doing with Preserve the Legacy is preserving the technique and the men of the Golden Age, which is disappearing from Muay Thai so fast. But the way they trained is often what's being taught to me when I do these sessions for the Muay Thai library. Because um, it's just not the same. Nobody trains like this anymore. Diesel Noy brought up these points. I was trying to like translate. I, there were some uh, Westerners, non-Thais, sitting next to me. Uh, listening to diesel noise. So I was trying to translate for them what he was saying um, and I just got so enthralled in what he was actually saying that I stopped translating it live uh, and had to like catch up with it later. But there are concepts that I know that I'm like, yeah, like fucking into it, what he was talking about. So he says that there is no gym in Thailand. People teach different techniques. People teach different things. Uh, that's just the nature, but we all learn Muay Thai. So he's like, there is no gym that teaches incorrect technique, but it's up to you what thing works, right? So like every trainer is going to tell you to block. They want you to block kicks and things like this. Everyone's going to teach you that you can teep if you can't go fast enough for the block. And he's like, all of this is not wrong, but it's up to you what's going to work or not. And so he's like, nobody comes into the ring with you. Like you learn all of this technique and we all learn the same technique, but it's up to you when you get into the ring what works or not. And he's like, how do you know what works is your own experience and your own auton. Auton is like what you can bear. Uh, it's like to endure something. Um, and you have to, as a knee fighter, endure a lot. Like you have to endure pain, you have to endure fatigue, all of these different things. So he made this point that's actually really important for Buddhism, which is he's like, your trainer can tell you that it hurts when you get kneed or it hurts when you block. And you can be like, yeah, like intellectually, I know that that's the case. But until you actually get need or feel the pain in the block, you don't know. So he's talking about like experiential knowledge and how it's the experiential knowledge that allows you to ascend uh, beyond just the paper of what everyone learns as Muay Thai. So he's dancing around and making these noises about how like, People have really shitty technique and they're kneeing each other and the gamblers are going, oi, oi, oi. And he's like, this is shitty technique. And people are like looking terrible, but the gamblers are all excited because they don't know whether those knees hurt or not. And he's like, you know, when you're in the ring, you know whether that hurts or not. And so this is why it's important for you to have the experiential knowledge and in the gym think, how do I hurt someone? How do I come after someone? How do I avoid being hurt? Because the gamblers don't know. Your corner doesn't know. You know. And so he's talking about how like, there's so many fighters in Thailand. And he's like, how do you know who's gonna come up? Like, how do you know who among all the thousands of fighters in Thailand are gonna come up and become a Yodmoy? Or like, you know, ascend basically. And he's like, you don't. It's the person who has this auton. It's the person who can endure. And it's the person who thinks about how does this technique work for me? Rather than just, yeah, my trainer told me to block and so I block. I'm so I am so amped about this speech that he gave me. And well, I'm saying it like, there's, there's actually a mental disorder of people, they're like stalkers who like, they hear a song and they think that it was written directly for them. Diesel Noy was talking to everyone in the gym, but I feel like he was talking just to me and I got really excited. 
And the boys did not get as excited as I did. But you know what? My excitement is what maybe is gonna lead me closer to Yodmoy than these boys is because I'm like, fucking yes. Like you learn the technique, everyone learns the technique, but you turn it into something. Like you make it something. Diesel Noy and Chamuk Pet trained at the same gym together. They have very, very similar knees to each other. And like this morning I was helping with uh, a private that Chamuk Pet was giving um, and uh, Shay, who's done, who was doing the private with Chamuk Pet, he's also done privates with Diesel Noy. And I'm like, it's the same knee that Diesel Noy teaches in terms of how you come up on the leg, but it's not the same knee at all. Like they're same, same, but different. And it's, you take something and you imitate it perfectly but then it's you who makes it whether it works or not. And I find that so beautiful. And that like your passion and ability to endure and persevere and think about and like have concentration for um, anything that you're taught. It's like anyone can pick up a stick. Anyone can have a gun. But whether or not you can actually hit the target is completely up to how you train, how you practice and how you think. And I find that really beautiful. And so I think that them standing there teaching all of these boys how you train, sitting there on the floor of the gym where they train, is really awesome. And I'm so happy that Pinu <laughs> invited them to, to give this speech. I was really, really inspired by it. So that's my amped up walk up and down my street telling you guys about it. Uh, and I have a little bit of video of it, but they're speaking Thai. So uh, this is my long translation without actually having to translate it. <laughs> Talk to you later.